Well, hey there, team, and welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to a little bit more Hard Space Shipbreaker. We're going in for our third shift with this same big old bloody gecko. It's amazing what you can get done when you're not rushing through. Now, I still defend the rush, the money rush, and I still... I'm, I'm pretty convinced that that's where the money's at. But I am enjoying sort of dissecting this thing. It's, uh, it's not, well, not so far. We're getting to the cerebral bits, but it's definitely not as cerebral as, uh, as, say, the, uh, the mackerel equivalent, like a heavy-duty, serious mackerel. But look at this. We've made, we've made some big progress here. We've really pulled this thing apart. It's not that recognizable anymore. But we are starting to get to a point we're gonna have to deal with the more difficult bits and bobs. Now, what is this bloody thing here? Well, let's go on to the barge, whatever it is. Okay, cool. So, that's right. We were kind of we were kind of working on the fuel tank sort of side of it all. Now, this wants the processor, processor, the the little hubcap here at the back that wants to go on the processor. All right, so if we can put this whole bloke in. We're going to be cooking with absolute gas. Now, the problem being, what is even going on here with this? What is this? What am I looking at here? Team. Can I can I just drag that away? Is that going to be a thing? It is not. That is part of the fixture. Which is interesting that maybe this is not. What if I... Drag you to there? Will you comply? Hey, off it goes. Yeah. In case it's not clear, I'm I'm kind of cognizant of the furnace. That thing bloody eats everything. The sarlacc. Have I made a mistake? Have I not let it go far enough? Maybe. Not sure. We'll find out. Alright, well that's cool that that can happen, so let's try something similar with the center and the other side as well. Now this has probably got fuel tanks in it. Oh Jesus, what the fuck was that? What the actual fuck just happened then? What? Do you guys see that? Look what it did to my ship! It fired like a bloody bullet! Now this is why I'm truly scared of hardcore mode. Alright, the coolant line's intact though. Oh my god, what the actual fuck was that? God, I'm, I'm terrified to remove the other one now. Well, that kind of throws a spanner in the works, doesn't it? Wow, even that's going ballistic as well. What is going on with the physics up this end? Salvage secured. Credit deposited. Yeah, I don't like flying so close to the furnace there. Oh my god, it just, that was unbelievable. That was like from that really bad Star Wars movie, that return of the, uh, what is it, The Last Jedi? Where the chick drove the car through the other big car, and it just obliterated into splinters? That's what just happened then. Oh my god. What is even left in here? Oh, my cockpit's a little bit intact. Oh man, that's, that's so cool. <laughs> like, like bugger, but also wow. Let's get you out of the mix ASAP, mate. Yeah, good, good move. See you later, big fella. Oh, that's the one I loosened up last episode. You know, loosen the jar for you, mate. 
Okay. Oh, what a shot! It's like I'm playing bocce bowls. Absolute animal. Alright, no more, no more rocket fuel. Jeez, that's what it was. Oh, that might be the title of this episode. What if we... Oh, what is that? Did I just tear a chunk off the back? Huh. I'm not loving this. You can hear the furnace, it's tummies rumbling, it's like, oh, yum, bring me more. Tether supplies are low. Alright, perfect, that worked out in the end. Object accepted for processing. Alright. Credit deposited. Oh, goodness me. Now what's going on here? Are you loose? Oh, you're the loosest. The loosest goosest. Okay. Warning. Tether's depleted. Ah, oh, thanks, Shaz. Funnily enough, that bullet the most of the superstructure sort of remained intact. So like the, the cockpit's got one little piddly hole in it you could plug with a bloody cardigan. I think I bought thruster fuel when I didn't need it. Oh well. Look, it's the done thing now, okay? How are we gonna do this? We can take that. Now here's the thing. Here's the thing. Let's start thinking about this, all right? As long as it stays attached to the base plate, it won't blow up. That needs to go to the barge. Furnace. Oh, the aluminium. Oh, okay, no, no, some of the aluminium can go to the furnace. That's fine, that's sort of just harnessing. All the pipes can go to the processor. Is there a way to like de-sleeve this thing? There might be. What's the neatest and tidiest way that we could do this? Now let's get rid of this for starters. I'm enjoying the challenge to be honest. Oh, fuck off. Alright, down you go. Alright, so that's wrapped around. Oh, there goes the music for a split second. Okay, hypothetically, I guess if I could... I don't know, it's a tough one. This is quite the puzzle. And if you touch this wall, it bloody explodes, doesn't it? How do we... This is like Jenga! We'll just leave that. We'll leave it to the last, mate. It's all good. Alright. Salvage secured. Credits deposited. Alright, so here, here we start asking questions. Furnace for that. Salvage deposited. Furnace. Furnace, 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 furnace. It's all furnace, man. The floor's furnace, the wall's furnace. Everything. I don't think any of this is not furnace, ex except obviously these bits and bobs. 
Right, what about this floor? The floor's processor. Oh, okay, that's interesting. Now that throws a bit of a spanner in the works. Where do, how do we disconnect this, this uh, gantry? That looks pretty bloody disconnected to me. Same thing over here first. Okay, cool. God, how do I push this away gently? I can use me bloody square head! Hey! Use your God-given gift, son. Because I want to get it away from the coolant line. Off you go, big fella. <laughs> yes, let's go. Nice. Is it all going in? Yeah, it's all going in. <laughs> Alright. Okay, what's the next part of this bullshit? How do we get this off? That... That roof as well. Okay, we've got the same airlock problem that we've had with the, uh... With the mackerel. Definitely no air in there. Precision. Oh, that looks pretty good, boys. Hang on, what's going on here? You had to be difficult, didn't you? You had to still be attached there, didn't you? Alright, what's that technically there? That's aluminium? Okay. Oh, I see how it is. Man, it's good when it sometimes goes your way. Processing valuable objects. Credits awarded. Oh, come on. Are you kidding me? It's pulling the whole thing, which is frustrating. There we go, Jesus. Nice. I did the best I could, I think. Wait, does the ladder come off? Oh, the ladder comes off! Hey, what's that? All right. Salvage secured. Surely this whole thing goes in the furnace, right? All 
Right. Well, that's all furnaces, right? Now that's barge. So what if we, uh... Yeah. 2.1, it's still, still profit, you know? It's, it's diminishing. There's no two ways about that. It's not what it was. But, um, we're getting there. Any exciting bits in here? Panel, equipment mount. Okay. Rudder. Oh, that was, it kind of looked like a rudder. That's weird. Why would there be a rudder? Why on earth would there be a rudder? And it's worth $150,000. Jesus. That's worth knowing, guys. That's worth hunting down. There was a flappy bit on the back. Cool. I can see how you'd need a rudder in the vacuum of space, though. Absolutely. Uh, thruster. Fuel tank. Oh, it gives me... Oh, okay, the fuel... I thought it was one tank before. It must be... It's in weight. 383 kilos. There's a bunch of fuel tanks, basically. Uh, thruster. Yeah, computer terminal. Atmospheric regulator, they were like 50 grand a pop. Which, yeah, that's pretty good, I guess. It's no airlock console, and the ladder is nothing. Don't worry about that. Alright, cool. And the work orders, we continue to slowly chip away at them. I guess we'll get there in the end. Nice! Man, this is good. I'm enjoying doing it this way, team. This is a fun format. It, it, it actually helps me out a lot as far as... Cut a rental, $120,000, Jesus. No wonder we're sa saving up the LT for that. That is so expensive. But that's also the most expensive thing if we just have a quick look here. No, not there. Equipment. 19,000 LT to buy it out. Oh my God, not even close. That's not anytime soon. Jesus. All right, well team, another shift down. What's that, three, is that three shifts now? Yeah, I guess. At this rate, maybe maybe four, maybe five. I can't tell at this point because we're starting to get into the, you know, the precision cuts to really get the most out of it all. And, you know, you could probably speed this up later on, but remember, we're in an, we're in an experimental phase where we're figuring out how this ship ticks, you know? Cool. All right. Thanks again for joining me, guys. We might just leave it there for the time being, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.